It is the time of the week where I catch up with uh, Shane Murphy on Zoom for his weekly chat. How are you doing, Shane? I'm very well, thanks, Ben. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, in good form, Shane, you've uh, had a, a nice few winners at Sandown at their meeting uh, last weekend. Let's just touch on a couple of those because Tam Farner got a win under a belt for the season in the Skybet Atlanta Stakes. Yeah, Tan Fana was very good in the Skybet Atlantis Stakes Ben. She was always comfortable and she finished the race really well. And, uh, you know, the time of her last three furlongs was really good um, in comparison to the rest of the card. What did you learn in terms of what she can do in the rest of the campaign? Is, is she a miler? Well, it's been, uh, it's probably open to debate whether she goes a mile or 10. Um, but uh, all those races, the likes of the Sun Chariot, uh, Kipco, uh, QE2, um, maybe the Prix de l'Opera, all those races are kind of open to her at the moment. Okay, but nothing confirmed, but maybe, you know, the Sun Chariot, perhaps the next race? Yeah, the Sun Chariot is, is possibly the next race, just the timing then, there's only two weeks between then and uh, and the QE2, so... Uh, you know, it'll just be interesting to see what route the owners and David think uh, is best. And you teamed up with an old pal of yours, Glenn Finnan, to win for, for Michael Dodds. Um, <laughs> he looked a tricky ride, but it was a good ride. Well, I got credit for it, um, but I'd have liked it if he relaxed a little bit better. Um, he has loads of ability, that horse, and um, seven, he can get well when he kind of is ridden quietly um, back on a nicer surface. He probably found the ground very fast a few times this year on good to firm. And um, yeah, I mean, you'd think he might go back to six for the year gold cup or the air silver cup, whatever he sneaks into. Um, you'd, uh, you'd think he'd go there with a big chance. OK, we've got a bit of an autumn watch theme on the uh, on the site this week, Sheen, and um, I'm just going to ask you if you can count down three, two, one, three of the horses you're most looking forward to in, in the latter stages of the season. So number three? Uh, three, two, one. Uh, number three, uh, See the Fire. Um, she was excellent at York, obviously. It was a group three, uh, but it was great to see her back up her placing in the Nassau Stakes. Um, she has a few targets, but maybe the Prix de l'Opera would be considered for her. Um, I suppose at number two, uh, let's go with Tropical Storm. Um, he's going to run in the Flying Childers. Uh, he had a few training setbacks throughout the year, but he's been excellent uh, before York and since York. And um, I really think there's more to come from him. And... Um, who am I going to put at number one? Big um, question. <laughs> yeah, th that's a high pressure one. Um, let's go with uh, Windlord. Um, he's due to run uh, at York on Sunday. Um, and uh, I think he goes there with uh, a great chance of breaking his novice before hopefully stepping up in class. Stuff. We'll look forward to that one on, on Sunday, certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go through your Saturday rides, uh, Shane, to finish off the chat. Um, Flora of Bermuda in the Betfair Sprint Cup, supplemented for the race. How's she doing at home, and do you think this race will suit her? She ran an excellent race in the Primoise de Geese, and she's trained well since then. She obviously needs to run another career best to get involved in this race. Uh, it's as good and deep a quality sprint we've seen this year. Um I think at an each way price, she can run a place and that'll be the goal to try and get some more black type at the highest level. Um, she's, uh, she's a tough, hardy filly that will handle the cut in the ground very well. Uh, Contacto steps up to a mile and six in the, in the bet fair plays different handicap. Yeah, he's definitely well handicapped, but I think so is Master Builder. Um, I actually tipped Master Builder in the Melrose and, uh, um, with shinners on that daily kind of um video that I did at the races and um yeah uh I would say contacto can go close but I respect uh, master builder and uh, Shagran ran well at York uh, runs mm. back over five furlongs in the in the Betfair B friendly handicap 
yeah, he'll have every chance. He'll be one of the favourites. Um, he makes his own look. And, uh, yeah, you know, he's got one of these sort of races in him. And a few other rides Saturday, Shane Clove Hitch, um, the Goat, the Lost King. What else are you looking forward to riding? Uh, the Goat, if it keeps raining up there, for sure. Uh, the Lost King is a very nice horse, but plenty with a similar profile in there. Uh, Clove Hitch, I actually thought she would handle juice in the ground. She was freshened up since her last start at Sandown. She's trained very well. She needs to run a career best to get involved here, but I think she is capable of running a career best. Stuff. Thanks a lot, Shane, and uh, best of luck this weekend. Cheers, Ben.